Hello everybody, Stranger Gamer back for another last 16 clash in my tournament. And in this clash we see we see June facing off against Dino Gasmania. I think this will be a good match. Well, hopefully, because a lot of the other matches have been pretty one-sided. <laughs> anyway, up first for June we have Carnotaurus, Crisis Type, with a moveset of Dino Illusion, Sonic Blast and Ninja Attack. June topped Pool B in a competitive group. Anyway, backing up Carnotaurus, we have Amplosaurus, Thai Recovery Type, with a moveset of Shockwave, Aqua Vortex, and Futaba Cannon. A solid team, I think. Anyway, as for Dino Gasmania yeah, in the blue corner, we have Metricamphosaurus, Blender Type. With a moveset of Crit Block, Burning Dash, and Death Grind. Dino Gasmania, after a prompt, after a very good start, stuttered a bit in the group stage, but just managed to pick up just enough points to get out of the group. Back in at Campasaurus, we have Rugops, Warning Type, with a moveset of Dino Stuffer, Mayfly, and Death Grind. Hmm. Metri Campasaurus will have the type advantage against the Kana. So it, that could be, that could be that could be key. That could be key to who wins this match. But we'll just have to find out. And who will win a trip in the quarterfinals to face either that mouse for the end of the match. Ooh, that's a good start from Gasmania. Ooh, the Dino Illusion getting triggered. Carno strikes back. Yeah, pretty much the same amount of damage. Ooh, but a metric Aphosaurus gets a hit, but remember, Dino Illusion is in effect, so Carno will take no damage. Ooh, the Carno's going for the ninja attack. Not getting it this time. Oh, there's the blunder effect from the metric amphosaurus here. Well, I find that ninja attack. And the metric amphosaurus gets off a crit. And the raptor's coming for a crit block. So June's options are going to be cut by a third. Who gets off the head? Not doing any damage to the mech because of the type advantage. Oh, there's a tie. Oh, he's not going to get the swap. As the metric Amphosaurus tips out the corner with a death grind. Of course now, the type advantage is at reverse now as the Amplosaurus will come in with the type advantage. Of course the mech guard is free to off this. Well, I think the key for the Amplosaurus is to kill this mech as quick as possible. Oop, I think this might do it. I don't know, I don't think it will. No. But it does put the Mets health in the red. And it does trigger the Futaba Cannon. Oh, but the Metric Amphosaurus! Getting the swap out and getting the critical block off on the amp. So. Oh, oh, because it swapped out so the crit block doesn't activate. Oh, but the Amplosaurus striking back. Boosh! Three. Oh, I think this might be Rugops. Oh, the Dino Stuff! I forgot about that. 
stopping Afutaba Cannon from activating and stopping major damage coming Rugox's way. A crucial Kadapi. But the Amplosaurus does get another hit. Ooh, a shockwave gets triggered, which means Gazmania's options will be cut by a third. Giving him a taste of his own medicine then, as his rock move goes bye bye. Oh, that's a good move, isn't it? What is the time? Ooh. Oh, there's our tie recovery effect. Oh, it's hard to gauge who has the edge right now. With this move, I think Gazmania is just taking a slight lead. But the Aqua Vortex triggered there. Ooh, a support effect from Metri Camphosaurus. Adding extra fuel to the fire. Achoo! Okay, now I think Gazmania definitely has the edge. Oh, it's a tie, but Aqua Vortex is going to activate. Ah, this is more like it. This Amplosaurus putting up one hell of a fight. This shouldn't take out the Rugox, but it'll leave his health in the red. No, but it will remove all of its moves. Oh, I think that's it! Yep, that's game over. A Gazmania, despite the fight back from the Amplosaurus, takes the win and defeats June and will advance to the quarterfinals. June will be going home. Well, that was a good match, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.